going to show you how you can use FME Server or FME Cloud to dynamically generate HTML. So this is a HTML template I've got of a basic report to show information about compression status for compressing the UK or Great Britain to ECW version 3. So you can see a lot of FME get attribute here and a value in quotes. So the string in quotes represents an attribute that will be passed through my workspace, so FME will replace that string with a meaningful value from the attribute. This is done using the XML templater. So that template file I've just shown you is referenced in here. This creates a resultant attribute called text line data, which gets written into the text writer. The text writer can be set to be HTML, so when you save it, save the file type as .html and in the parameters set the MIME type to HTML, so when you view it on the internet in a browser, it will display as a nice web page with formatting rather than a page of text. So to publish this to the server, use the button up here on the top right. You can then put in your credentials in here. And that should ask you where you want to save your workspace. And then for the services, you need to make sure that the data streaming is selected. However, it normally does this by default. And then you can press publish. Once this is done, you can go to your web browser and load up your server. And then you should be able to find the workspace you just loaded inside the right repository. So if you click on this now, and then click on the data streaming option, you will get a URL at the bottom of the page, which you can use, which will open up that report. You can see in the URL there's a question mark, and after the question mark are all the parameters. The only one I'm interested in is the mask parameter, as I've set this up to generate a report based on which mask of the UK I've compressed. So the default one you can see here is TQ1. So if I press this URL, it should open TQ1. If I wanted to get rid of all of the rubbish stuff I'm not interested in after the question mark, I can shorten that URL to just put the mask parameters in. So you can see here I've got TQ1 and it still works, or I can generate other reports for different tiles, such as SM1 or SO4. And the values in the table will be different depending on the mask I've specified.